Hey, what's up, guys? It's Switch from 24-7, and I'm going to show you today how to fix the dreaded Rockstar launcher errors, whether that be the error 18, the graphics driver is not recognized, whether you can't open it and you're getting the black screen, the infinite loading screen, or if your game's not showing up in your launcher at all, I have the fix for all of these. So let's start the sim. Stop shop for updates, reviews, benchmarks, gameplay. This is 24-7 Sim Gaming. So just to cover a few of the bases here before we get to my fix that no one has, we need to first, if you're using an NVIDIA driver, just make sure your drivers are up to date. So go to your GeForce experience and click drivers and just check for updates and make sure you update it. Same thing for your windows, as you should know how to do that. Start, hit the cog wheel, updates and security, and you'll get the windows update. So as long as you're up to date there, that's one of the main issues that people are having right now because we just got a lot of updates all at the same time. So now that that's out of the way, two quick things you wanna do here just for power preferences and to be able to make sure your Red Dead can open properly is right click your desktop, click the NVIDIA control panel, and you're gonna to go to manage 3D settings. We're gonna hit program settings and we're just going to go ahead and click add and just add both of the games and also add the Rockstar Launcher in itself. And if you don't see them here, you can go ahead and click browse. So right there, I've got Rockstar Games Launcher. We'll add selected programming. I'll go to power management. I can prefer maximum just in case. This is just a safety precaution here. So we'll go ahead and click apply, no big deal. We're out of there. Let's go back up to our settings and our cog wheel, pull that up. And over here, if you have a look at gaming under your gaming tab, we've got graphic settings, click that and pull it down as another browse tab. We're gonna click that really quickly. And same thing, we're gonna look for the exe files to our games inside of our main game directory. So Steam apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5, GTA 5 exe. And if it's Red Dead, same thing, Common and Red Dead Redemption 2, RDR2 exe, you'll add it. Once it's in there, we're gonna click it, we'll hit option, and we're gonna go ahead and put it in high performance. As you see, I'm on my 3060 build, so we can hit save. Now we can make sure all of our power is properly set. So now that that's done, let's get into the main fix here. So let's go ahead and pull up a browser again, a system browser. So let's just open documents. And we're gonna locate our programs under our C drive. So let's go ahead and locate our C drive here. Windows, that's the drive that your Windows is on, of course. We're gonna go to Program Files, x86, and let's go ahead and scroll down to Rockstar Games. And once we scroll down to Rockstar Games, we're gonna click Social Club. And as you look inside of here, we're gonna go all the way down to Uninstall RGSC Redistributable. What's happening right now is everyone is updating their Rockstar Launcher and in the process of updating your Rockstar Launcher, your Rockstar Launcher contains some files like redistributed files and DLLs, et cetera, that will not actually patch over. So it's trying to read the older versions of these. So we need to go ahead and clear, clear these out with a fresh install and not just installing a new version of the launcher, say from the website. So when you click this uninstall, I'm actually not going to do it. But when you click this uninstall, it will run an uninstaller. And then after the uninstaller, and actually, you know what? Let's back up a second. Let's go back to our documents here. So let's just quickly scroll up. So it'll be take a second. Locate your documents, go to Rockstar Games, and you're going to see your games inside of here. Just to be safe, click on Profiles and then click your profile there and save all of this data. Just take it, drag it to your desktop. This is all of your saved data files. These, This is the saved data on the console itself. And of course your clouds and your PC settings. 
And if you're having the Vulkan API issue where you changed your API to DirectX, I'll show you how to quickly fix that as well. Now we're in here, Rockstar Games, Red Dead Redemption 2. You've got settings. And as you can see here, here are your Vulcans. Under that, you'll have system. And you'll just go ahead and right click it and just open it with your notepad. And we're going to locate the graphics advanced, which is actually right here. And as you see this next line, it says API setting Vulcan. Just delete API Vulcan and type in DirectX 12. And then open your game and it will launch if that was the issue you're having. Or if you changed it to DirectX 12, it will read DirectX 12 here and you can just change it back to API Vulkan and it will open the game as it was previously. So now that we've gotten sidetracked a little bit, let's go back to our main fix now that we've saved our files. So all the way back up, let's go back down to our C drive and let's hit the program files x86 and locate Rockstar Games, Social Club, and we're going back down to the uninstall redistributable. Run that. And once you're done with that, we're gonna go locate our main game directory. So your Steam library, for me, it is on my D drive. So I'm gonna get there here. Actually, I have a shortcut as you should too. So I'm inside of Red Dead. Now, now that that's uninstalled, you're going to click the play RDR2 dot exe and this is actually a shortcut for the rockstar games launcher which needs to run first so let's click it you'll get the pop-up it's always great to run these things in administrative mode as well and when you get the pop-up as you see mine is connecting but you will get an install bar and let the install bar finish and if you see that installation bar you are good to go that means everything will reinstall all your settings, all your files, everything for the Rockstar Launcher. And your games will pop back up in your library on the side as my GTA is there. And if you have Red Dead, my Red Dead's there as well. And it'll be play on Steam. So that's it. Once you've done all those things, you'll be able to click play on Steam and it will open up normally and you're back into your Rockstar game. So I hope you like this video. I know this is an issue that's plaguing tons of people. Please pass this video on so people can get back into playing their games. Make sure your files are verified also inside your Steam and you should be good to go. If you're having any issues, please drop them down in the comments or if you need some help one-on-one, -on -one, please join our Discord below. And we've got plenty of people from the channel that can help you with all your problems, whether it is opening the launcher or installing mods to your Red Dead or your GTA, whatever, we do it all. So as always, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.